Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing the last Sephora haul before the Sephora VIB sale. There were a few products on Sephora that launched recently that I just had to try before the sale begins like a week and a half from now so that I can form an opinion on them and so that I know whether or not to recommend them for the upcoming sale. If you guys don't know, the Sephora sale is going to be from November 5th till the 15th for Rouge customers and I'm just going to go ahead and leave you the rest of the dates down in the description box along with all of the links. So if you're a VIB, it starts a few days later and if you're a Beauty Insider, it starts a few days later after rouge customers get 20 percent off vibs get 15 and beauty insiders get 10. i feel like sephora's fall vib sale is definitely the biggest sale of the season and i know that a lot of you have been asking me already for videos on recommendations for what to get during the sale and you will have a lot of sephora vib sale content coming next week. This week we are doing one last haul on new products that I just need to try before we get into all of the sale content next week. And so I'm super excited for today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you the products that I bought that we will be trying in today's video. First things first, this Tower 28 SPF 30 Mineral Tinted Sunscreen. It is a tinted sunscreen, which I feel like it's a new name for like a tinted moisturizer type of product and I'm super excited to use it. This one is in the color 15 mil rose, which I think is the one that is going to match me. Besides that, another product that came out very recently and I just needed to try before the sale, and I only got one color on each thing because if I like them, then I know that during the sale, I'll get a couple other colors, but for now, I just wanted to try the formula and see if it's actually worth getting or not. So the Norvina Chroma Sticks came out recently. I got the light coral shade because I feel like this one will look good with a lot of my eyeshadow looks. It's this beautiful coral shade right here and I can't wait to put it on my eyes and see whether or not I like it in my waterline. And then I got two Makeup by Mario products that launch fairly recently. The lip liners very recently. The lipsticks maybe a couple of weeks ago. I love when lipsticks have this magnetic closure thing. So I got the lipstick in the color Rasa, R-A-S-A. -S -S Check it out. It has a beautiful, beautiful matte finish. It says by Mario right there. That's the swatch of the lipstick right there. It looks like a beautiful nude. And then I also got a lip liner, which it comes with a sharpener, which that's always helpful. And then it has a little brush on this side right here that you can kind of blend it in with. The lip liner I got in the color Travis, which I think it's like a brown shade. I wanted to make it ombre the lipstick. I think the lipstick might be a little too pink for it though. Anyways, that's the color of the lip liner right there. We will try them together today. I'm starting with my eyebrows on and I have um, serum and magic cream on my face. Everything I used will be linked down below. And so I'm going to use this Rare Beauty primer. This is the pore diffusing primer from Rare Beauty, which I love. And I'm just going to smooth it all over my face. And now we're going to try Sunny Days from Tower 28, which is the SPF 30 tinted sunscreen. It says it is safe for sensitive skin, vegan, cruelty-free, will not cause breakouts, and it is reef safe mineral sunscreen and alcohol-free. I never knew that sunscreens were not good for um, coral reefs until I started watching Hiram and his skincare channel. So I love seeing that this one is coral reef safe. That's the color I got. I wasn't sure if I wanted to apply it with my hands or with a sponge or a brush. I think I'm going to do a brush because I personally don't love applying um, products on my face with my hands. So let me try the brush first. And I'm using the A Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush, which I think tends to be available during this time of year. So if I find it, I'll definitely link it below. It's definitely a little bit 
bit lighter than I was expecting. It's making my face a little paler, but that's okay because I'll put bronzer over top of it later and make it work. It has like a luminous finish and a sheer coverage. I can definitely see my redness through it still, but it is a tinted sunscreen type of product. And you know, usually we don't necessarily need a lot of coverage from those. I do wish I would have gone for the darker shade though. Okay, let me blend it on my forehead too. Okay, I felt like it wasn't blending in all the way. I could see some streaks through it. So I grabbed my Sonia Kashuk sponge and I'm just going to tap it everywhere. And now it looks a lot more skin-like. All of the little streaks that I had seen fully went away. I want to see if it's buildable. So I put a little bit more right there on my cheek and I'm just going to tap it in with the sponge. Oh, it is really nice and buildable. The redness went away. Okay, that's awesome. So I did the same thing on this side, just add it a little bit more. I went ahead and lowered the light a lot more because I felt like it was so reflective. I was like glaring at you. Um, you can see it has a beautiful, beautiful luminous finish to it. Take a good look up close right here. It just looks like I'm very hydrated, but it looks very skin-like even after I add it more in some parts of my face to hide my red cheeks, but my redness is like, you know, pretty much gone now, which is definitely very fabulous. Let me do my under eyes. This is my Rare Beauty concealer brush, and I'm just going to tap a little bit of the Charlotte color corrector underneath my eye here. Tap, tap, tap it. And then with my pure push-up concealer, I'm just going to do a little bit more concealer in the under eye area and the center of my face. I feel like I haven't used that concealer in a video in a while and it's because it's a little bit too light, but since this foundation is lighter than my face, it actually matches now. I still love that push-up concealer from Pure, it's amazing. I'm going to set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Glowish bronzer from Huda. And this is my Wayne number one brush. Going around my forehead first. Here's something I like to do when I bronze but not contour. So right now I have bronzed my forehead and my cheeks, my nose as well, but not my chin yet. So when I'm at this step, I guess, I go back with the tip of the beauty blender I've been using and I just dab it right underneath so that the bronzer looks more defined so that it's more where I want it to be rather than it traveling down a little bit too far which to me at least tends to always happen so I just clean it up down here and if I took too much off I go back with a bit more bronzer but I'm a little bit more careful with it and now I feel like it's a little bit more lifting than it was before I don't know that's just something I do alrighty so now I'm finishing it up right here right under my chin Lower the light again and I'm going to show you everything after the bronzer has been applied. I really like it so far. My face looks very glowy. I see no texture, no dryness. This is what we're looking like after I put bronzer on. I feel a little bit more my color again. I'm going to finish this up with a little bit of blush. This one is from Huda and I'm just going to pat it on my cheeks up here. This one is 01 Healthy Peach. I'm going to grab my mini star palette from Natasha Denona and I'm going to go in with this transition color here. Mainly because I just used it for my Lisa Eldridge video and it was sitting right here in front of me. And I hadn't picked out any other palette for this video so I'm just going to go for it. Plus, I love the mini star palette. Blending that same color right underneath my eye and this is a Wayne number no. 7 brush. If you hear any background noise, it just started pouring back with my refer number 16 and the dark color and I'm going to darken up the outer corner of my eye and blend it into the crease and with my finger in this center shade here I'm going to just do my eyelid by tapping the color in place beautiful I have to switch hands so that I can reach right here and with that same color and my refer number two, I'm going to make sure things look even. I have my Norvina liner right here. And the first thing I want to do is try it on my waterline because that is where ideally I would want to use it for. So I'm just putting it in there. You can definitely see it, which is really nice. And it's going on easily. Not like Charlotte Tilbury liners easy. Not like Patrick Ta liners easy. 
but easy enough um, and the fun thing about these is that they have a pop of color which those other brands don't have as colorful off liners and I do really love to put colorful pops in my waterline because I feel like it just makes the looks really pretty so I do really like that and I'm going to do half a wing on top now as well to just kind of match it and to see how it performs on the top as well so starting from the center of my eyelid out I don't know if you can see but I'm coloring my lashes right there okay so here's the first eye done I didn't have an easy time with it it was actually quite hard um, and I had to like go over it a few times for the color to build up so I don't know if I would recommend these eyeliners. I feel like if you want a pop of color, especially for the waterline, which is the main reason I plan to use them for, then yes. But if you wanna do like top of the eyelid type of eyeliner, it's not the smoothest. And also if you're going to go for traditional colors like brown, black, navy, and those types of colors, I would definitely not get these. I would go for Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. Those to me are the creamiest. They perform much better and she has those types of colors. Let me make myself even now. Okay, I'm back. I have my three quarter liners on and it was really tough to do my top liner with this it felt really dry I had to build it up quite a few times and the tip of it broke when I was doing this wing so not my favorite I do want it still because I'm totally going to use it for my waterline but it's not my favorite formula of eyeliner I might even buy the mint one too during the Sephora sale just because I feel like for my waterline I do really like it and I'm going to enjoy using it but for the top it's a no and why did it paint my lashes so much on this eye it was painting my lashes more than it was painting my eyelid it was weird <laughs> anyways this is what it looks like right here let me be right back with some mascara on and we will get to trying these makeup by Mario lip products Okay, back with mascara on, this is what we're looking like right here. Okay, let's move on to the Makeup by Mario lip liner. This one is in the color Travis. And let's just go ahead and put it on. The lip liner is super smooth, which I love. And I just remembered I got the color Travis because the description said chocolate milk color or something like that. And I was like, I want that one. I like the description. <laughs> I would say it is indeed um, like a chocolate milk type of color. I'm going to use this little brush thing just to try it out to smooth the inner edges of it. And then here is my Makeup by Mario matte lipstick in the color Rasa. I don't know what I was thinking with this haul because like orange eyeliner with like pink and brown lipstick is not a match but I do get to try all of the formulas which I guess is the point of this <laughs> back with my little lip brush and I'm going to blend the edges okay here I am that's actually not terrible right I was using this compact for the mirror so since it's already out I'm going to use it for highlighter this is my way number three and this is the color sparks from Jaclyn just a little bit up here on the top of the cheeks okay so this right here is the finished look with all of these products that I still needed to try from Sephora before the sale begins so let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts let me tell you what worked and what didn't first things first the tower 28 sunny days broad spectrum SPF 30 tinted sunscreen I actually really like this one I loved that I was really easily able to build it up over my cheeks to cover everything that I personally wanted covered it covered all of my redness if you have dark spots that you're concerned about it might not fully cover those but as far as redness is concerned you can definitely build it up to cover redness I would definitely get the color above number 15 Melrose because this one was a little bit lighter than I usually like to use my makeup once I put the bronzer on though I feel like you know we're good we're fine but I think 
I would rather go with the darker shade. I really liked it. I definitely wish it would have come out during summertime rather than fall, but it is a really beautiful product regardless. I love that it's Reef Safe. And if you've been interested in trying it out, definitely add it to your Sephora basket because it is a really beautiful product. Tower 28 has not disappointed me so far. Everything I've tried from them, I have really liked. Let me get on to the next product, which was this right here. This is the Chroma Stick Eyeliner. Mine is in the color Pastel Coral. And I have to be honest, I had a really difficult time with this one for eyeliner on the top of my eyes. I hated it. It is dry and chalky. It does not glide. It is extremely difficult to use it on the top of your eye. So if that is the reason you want it, I would go for something else. Do not get this. For waterline eyeliner though, it was okay. Just okay. You have to go back and forth and build it up a little bit. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not sure how long it'll last in there. My eyes aren't super runny, so I feel like it would last a good enough amount of hours for me, but I really did not love this one. I wish that the good eyeliners had fun colors like these that I could have for my makeup looks. I might have to still end up buying a couple more shades just because I want to have these specific colors for eye looks and they just don't exist in other brands. I was not impressed and uh, formula wise, I don't recommend it. There's much better formulas out there, but if you want fun colored eyeliners, then we might not have other options, you know? If anybody has pastel eyeliner recommendations for me, definitely drop them down below. Then we have the Makeup by Mario lip liners. I actually really enjoyed this one. Very creamy, very glidey. It builds easily, it blends easily. I really love the texture of it. Zero complaints. It is one that you have to sharpen, but it comes with the sharpener and everything. I like the packaging. Anyways, I actually really love this lip liner from Makeup by Mario, and I do recommend them. They have a bunch of colors too. I did like Travis. Travis looks good, but lots of colors. And then the lipstick. Love, love the lipstick packaging. Really nice. I like the um, white matte finish that his products have. My lipstick is in the color Rasa. And even though it's a matte lipstick, it feels very creamy pigmented right away. It blended very easily into my Travis lip liner. Also lots of different shades to choose from with these. So this is something else that if you've been wanting to try it, I do actually recommend it. This was really good. And everything else that I used in this video today, I have reviewed in the past if you're interested and will be linked down in the comment section. So if there's anything you're interested in purchasing, definitely use my links down below. Those were the four products that I was like, I cannot wait for the Sephora sale to buy them. I need to try them right now so that I can know whether or not they are worth buying during the sale. This was my last Sephora mini haul before the VIB sale comes and I am getting my cart ready. I am so ready for the Sephora sale so that I can get a ton of goodies at 20% off. Definitely expect a lot of content regarding the sale coming the week off. I have quite a few videos about the sale coming that I think will definitely be helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, if you're new to my channel, my name is Patty, and I would love it if you were here to stay. So please don't leave without subscribing. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.